Further. Um, our next speaker, Vini Karetak. Vini is uh, the husband of one, the proud father of two, uh, a very enthusiastic bowling player who pulled quite a few swift moves last night, <laughs> as some of you may have seen. No, he's not the one who ripped his shirt. Um, he also happens to be the chair of Kagiavut, the board tasked with delivering Inuit cultural programs in and around Nunavut. The ultimate goal of the board is to build a performing arts center in Nunavut. This project has been in the making for eight years and there's still quite a way to go and he'll be able to talk about uh, all the ins and outs. Meanwhile, uh, the board's been busy in uh, providing programs for youth and children, recording uh, elders with their stories, uh, teaching artists to teach their art and keeping their language. Truly lucky, looking forward to hear from him today about what matters so much uh, to him with this project, the community, the importance of the partnership required to make this happen, and the impact on their current and future activities. Thank you. So I don't have tennis elbow, I have like bowler sole shoulder. <laughs> Sword. Uh, and it, yeah, it was a good time last night, so it was, it was lots of fun bowling. Uh, anyway, uh, my name is Vinya Kagatak, I'm, I'm, I wear many hats, and today's hat is for Kagevut. Uh, it's the, uh, the Performing Arts uh, Society for Nunavut, uh, which um, we started up because of the strong cultural um, st strength we have in the north uh, and no place to perform it at. We have no performing arts center in Nunavut and uh, we do most of our shows in gymnasiums and, and uh, gutted out curling rinks. Funny, it's here. Kagevut is a nonprofit society funded in 2008 as the voice of Nunavut's performing artists with a focus on meeting the needs of Inuit performing artists. Based in Nikhaluit, Kagevut is governed by a nine-member board of directors. We are not core funded, but in January 2016, we won the Arctic Inspiration Prize for our Kagek strategy, a plan to del deliver programming that strengthens the Nunavut performing arts through training, advocacy, and creation. Some of the projects we've undertaken this year include art skills development, artist promotion and marketing, connecting artists to economic and, and uh, artistic opportunities, delivering children and youth performance arts programming, preserving and maintaining the Inuit performing arts at risk, and uh, creating new performance work. Kagevut provided a programming to support over 250 Inuit performing artists and 650 Nunavut children this year. Our strategic plan, one of the first projects taken on by Kagevut this year was to build the first Kagevut strategic plan and to develop organization management skills. The plan incorporates recommendations from all Kagevut summit consultants, consultations with Arctic and Inuit performing art, artists. The key to the Kagevut strategic plan is to, to prior, prioritize, pro, priority placed on, is the priority placed on Inuit performing arts at risk, creation of a new performing arts work, training of Inuit performing artists, advocacy for a new performing arts space, uh, and a strong consultative uh, process based on Inuit culture. So research Activities include identification of Nunavut's established and emerging performing artists, Inuit performing artists at risk, and knowledge keepers. We are systematically recording, filming, and producing Inuit performing artists, creating documentaries and master classes on an ongoing basis. Our Red Wall Sessions have, is a series of videos of Nunavut musicians, poets, actors that are on a, our dedicated YouTube channel and getting international attention. Uh, one day we got a call from CBC uh, about one of our Red Wall sessions, uh, and the next caller was from uh, New York Times, so it's, it's, it's getting there. Our Inuit World Stage, 
uh, program is a pilot group of 20 established Inuit performers. We provided them with promotion, marketing, tra and training to increase their economic and artistic opportunities. Our Akagewa database is on our website. On our website holds promotional material for more than 250 performing artists, including those artists on the, in the most remote communities of Canada. Importantly, Akagewa raises a, a united voice to proclaim the great contribution of Nunavut's performing artists to make, to make Canada's culture, language, and community will be advocacy for Nunavut performing arts and culture space. It's continued and sustained advocacy for Nunavut performing arts space. Pagewood is planning an international fundraising campaign for a Nunavut performing arts center to be launched in July of this year. Uh, we in invite partners to join us from all levels in government, the private sector, nonprofits, and Inuit organizations. Um, Arctic songs and ancient and new, Kagewut has spent years uh, to preserve, transfer traditional Inuit music. To date, we have recorded over 60 traditional Inuit songs deemed at risk. Um, outreach and uh, consultation with Arctic performing artists. To, the key to all Kagewut work is, is consultation. Um, with the artists that we support. Kagewut facilitates Arctic performing artists, art, performing arts summits. The recommendation by artists attending the summit identified the priority set out uh, in Kagewut, strategic, in the Kagewut strategic plan. Our next summit is supposed to be uh, this, 20, this year, uh, and it's gonna be on revitalization of the drum. We've been, um, we've had a few skilled drum makers, uh, and, but those are getting fewer and fewer each year. This year for our pro project, Give Ilk Returns, uh, by our, our uh, uh, theater uh, collective, we couldn't get enough people to, to make the drums, and so we uh, invited the few that can come and, and start teaching it to, to anyone who was interested. And uh, it, was, it was very successful. Uh, it, plus, we got our jumps for it, so. Um, and I think um, that was a short version. We needed to do this quickly, and so I think we're gonna try and do that again in a much longer way. The actors, established and emerging actors, are provided with mentorship and workshops and auditioning and acting skills. Professional audition reels are housed at the Kagewut Vimeo channel. Our Give Ilk Returns is a multifaceted theater project including training, mentorship for, for Inuit writers, actors, directors, musicians, and te technicians in a digital design, music, sound, and lighting. The script is developed in a collaboration with Inuit elders and storytellers. Give Ilk Returns provides residencies in Kingston and Banff where the cast works with professional directors and choreographers from the National Theater School of Canada. Most importantly, when touring Arctic communities, the cast of Kivilk Return will facilitate, will be facilitating uh, of performing arts workshops. The show will provide uh, workshops to children and youth in every, every community we visit. Uh, we have a newsletter that we, oh, I forgot about you. We have a newsletter, it's on our website. You can sign up to it. It comes out, it says bi-monthly. I don't know if that's every two months or every six weeks or four weeks, so. We gotta change that. Master classes. Kagewur identifies masters of the Inuit performing arts and professionally produces mini documentaries for, for free download and broadcast on Kagewur YouTube and Vimeo channels associated with our, our website. Uh, there's mentorships, uh, lots of mentorships happening. Mentorship. Um, research conducted or Kagewur performing arts children and youth programming. Research conducted throughout the world shows that regular exposure to performing arts is a key to building resiliency among children and youth and creating a sense of belonging, and identity, and life meaning. Our communities have the highest number of youth suicide rates in Canada and uh, an ep ep epidemic caused, at least in part, by a sense of isolation and lack of belonging. Kagev works towards works with artists to deliver children and youth programs throughout Nunavut, including uh, currently developing of delivery of music and theater camps and workshops. 
Pagewa guidelines ensure Inuit culture is integral in all children and youth programming, including traditional food, inclusion of elder teachings, and basic foundations in Inuit performing art practices. Thanks. Oh, there's a video, actually, if, if I have time. It's three minutes. <laughs> a strategy to strengthen the Arctic performing arts, spearheaded by the nonprofit Kagyavut Society. Kagyavut Arctic Performing Arts Teacher Training provides training to performing artists in teaching the arts to children and youth in their community. The first Kagyavut Teacher Training was held in July 2016 with eight performing artists from Northwest Territories and Nunavut. Kagyuk's collaborative participatory learning model is based on artists teaching artists, challenging artists to build new skills. The workshop includes intensive masterclasses in traditional Inuit arts. North Baffin drum dance with master drummer Pakak Inukshuk from Iglulik. Pakak learned from elders more than 40 years ago. Copper Inuit drummer Keenan Carpenter of Ulluhaktu keeps language alive through song. Traditional pisid maintained by Sheena Akumalik from Pawn Inlet ensures children hear the beauty of their language. All participants learn new techniques and build plans to develop arts programming in their communities. Hakak and Keenan working to pass on the Inuit drum. Sheena from Pawn Inlet and Charmaine Ukatsiak from Rankin Inlet are passionate about traditional songs. Naomi Iyitsiak from Apex teaches accordion and fiddle and Danny Ishulutuk from Pengnutang founded a youth dance group. Christine Tutu runs a girls' throat singing program. Damian Tulugapchuk works with kids daily in Iglulik to teach Inuit games and acrobatics. Workshop facilitator Lakaluk Williamson Bathory introduces the participants to new ways of storytelling. Kadgil strengthening the Arctic performing arts, surrounding children with a strong connection to their culture, their stories, and their language. <laughs>